What up, Shredder? I'm out here teaching my girlfriend how to snowboard for the very first time, and I'm realizing there are a lot of mistakes beginners make when they first go out that make it a much more difficult experience. Because if you've ever tried to learn how to snowboard, you know that the first two or three days can be kind of painful and miserable. And I promise you, it is worth it. But I want to help you avoid the five biggest mistakes that beginners make that's going to make your learning experience so much more fun and get you up to that intermediate level so much faster. Let's get into it. All right, mistake number one, complete beginners make is not using protective gear. And yes, of course, I'm talking about a helmet that saves your brain. Without it, you're not worth much. So be sure to protect your brain. But I'm also talking about making the experience more pleasant out there because you're gonna take some shots to the hips, to the arms, to the wrists, to the knees. And so if you're just learning, you're going out there, you're gonna catch some edges. So the first part about this is try to go on a soft day, either a spring day when things have melted off a little bit or go on a pow day where it's a little bit soft. If you have no option but to learn on ice, I sympathize with you, I learned on the East Coast, but let's make it a little bit easier on you. If you just pad up, you put on knee pads, wrist guards, because the most common snowboard injury is broken wrists in young females, and butt pads so that when you take those hip checks, you don't have bruises all over yourself and you wanna go back out the next day, you do those three things and it's gonna make your experience so much more pleasant, especially if you're learning on ice and we need to make the learning experience fun or else you're not gonna get back up and get out there. So that's number one, protective gear, don't forget it. Number two mistake I see beginners making is not understanding body mechanics. So basically they go out on the snowboard, they see people riding down, they think they understand how it works, but they have no idea how edge to edge works, what an uphill edge or downhill edge is, what maneuvers they should learn in what order. And they're trying to start by going straight down the hill instead of standing up sideways on the slope and learning a falling leaf. So if you learn those body mechanics, how do you control a snowboard? Which edge needs to be in contact with the snow? And what maneuvers should I learn in what order? That's gonna make it so much faster so you're not trying to learn the wrong things and you're not out there struggling wondering, why does this look so easy, but it's so hard in practice. So the number one thing you can do here is either get an instructor out on the hill, or if you want something a little more affordable, you can join Shred School and we're gonna show you step-by-step step what order to learn what things. Just check out the link in the description for that. The number three mistake I see beginners making out there, like I've mentioned, is bombing it. Which means they don't know how to turn, they don't know how to use their edges, they don't really know how to slow down, so they bomb down the mountain and then they sit down at the end. I know you've seen this out there. This is a big mistake because while you might be riding your snowboard, you're not learning technique and you're never going to get better. So you shouldn't be bombing at any time in the first three days. We're gonna start with falling leaf, which is just back and forth sideways across the mountain. No bombing involved. We're not really gonna get you bombing until you're already linking S turns and we wanna build up a little bit more speed. So if you're bombing out there, go learn how to falling leaf, then learn how to J turn, then C turn, then S turn, you're gonna be on the right track. If that sounds like gibberish, remember, get an instructor or an online course, it's gonna make it so much easier to understand what's going on. Next mistake I see beginners making out there is not having a no matter what attitude. So just because something is hard in the beginning does not mean that it's not worth it, right? So there is a pain period of two to three days at the least at the very least that you have to go through on a snowboard to actually get out there and have fun. So I want you to commit and say, no matter what, I'm gonna get through this pain period where I know how to link turns together and get down the mountain because that's when it gets really fun. And I'm not gonna go out there one day and then switch back to skiing because it was too hard because that's taking the easy way out in life. And the greatest rewards in life require sacrifice, they require pain, but it's so worth it to come out the other side. So have a no matter what, I'm gonna to commit to this and make it happen. I'm gonna learn how to snowboard until I can actually do it so that I know what it's like before deciding if I wanna ski or snowboard. What do you have to say to all your skier friends? <laughs> and the last mistake I see beginners make out there is not enjoying the process, right? This is frustrating, it's painful, it can be cold, but you can have fun with the whole thing at the same time. Like I mentioned, you take care of these other mistakes and you go out there with your friends, somebody you can connect with, somebody who's going through that difficult experience with you, and then maybe bring somebody along who actually knows what they're doing so they can coach you and guide you along the way. Hire a professional for the fastest results, but go out there and ultimately what this is about is having fun. And the more skill you build, the more fun you can have out there. So build those skills, practice, have fun along the way. Remember to enjoy it even when it's painful. Remember to laugh at yourself because you are gonna fall. You are gonna go through a little something out there on the mountain while you're learning, but you can get through the pain, come out the other side. If you already know how to snowboard and you're watching this, let me know in the comments, what's the biggest mistake beginners make and how can we help them avoid it so they have a better time learning. If you're just beginning, 
Let me know what other questions do you have? How can I help you out? I just wanna see you get out there and shred it because I know that it will change your life. All right, that's all for today. Peace out, Shredder.